Also counting down the days joining you in the countdown to the day of the great American eclipse. 11 states are going to be in the path of totality on Monday afternoon. And here in the Bay Area, you'll still get to see a partial eclipse. Yes. It's still going to be cool. Not total here, but uh, if the rare event is not enough to get you out of the house, 10 Tampa Bay's Aaron Persegian takes a look at the science that may make you reconsider. Thousands of years, people have been looking up in awe documenting solar eclipses through history. Since then, our understanding of what happens when the daylight disappears has evolved, including what we know about the profound impact it can have on your psyche. It actually creates a different framework for thinking about yourself. Dr. Jennifer Boston is a psychology professor at the University of South Florida. Not that it makes you feel unimportant, but it diminishes your sense of yourself being all important. And that makes you feel more connected to things. It makes you feel more connected to nature. It makes you feel more connected to other people. She says it's no coincidence those who view a rare solar eclipse often describe it as life-changing. It can kind of create this other-oriented mindset where you are more pro-social, you're more generous toward others, you're more focused on kind of easing other people's pain. Being focused on how can you help other people can actually reduce depression and anxiety. And this opportunity doesn't come around frequently. Dr. Jay Michaels, also a psych professor at USF, says it's all the more reason to savor the moment. Researchers have demonstrated now for many years from different empirical studies that when people tend to have more amplifying, savoring experiences, they tend to experience more happiness as well as more subjective life satisfaction. And that doesn't just end when the moon makes its way by. When people engage in nostalgia and they think back on them, they could actually cultivate some of those same emotions. Probably a good idea, maybe not try to videotape it, but just actually take in the moment. I would say that would be the best advice. Go ahead and get that selfie to put up on your social media, maybe get a quick little video clip, but take a few moments to disconnect and actually just experience the sights, the sounds, as well as the collective social experience, the people around you, and that'll make it something ultimately more memorable for you. Aaron Parsegian, 10 Tampa Bay.